Don't just. I'm gonna take a take the higher road, the road less traveled by. I have one more set of jobs numbers from my favorite X page. One more jobs numbers, okay? Oh, yeah, I do. I, dude, I, got, I had like this a lot of all, content. All I the jobs. To through. Yeah, I wanted. To, I told you, I wanted to spend some time in the jobs. Okay. Deep in there. All right. Docking it. Dock. Docking. <laughs> Shout out to the old OG listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Mormons. <laughs> all right. So the Kabisi letter. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a good tweet. Or is what? How do you say tweet? Yeah, it's a good X. Is a good X. It's a, it's a good exchange. Listen, Elon, we love you. It's still tweet, okay? I, just give me the vernacular I'm supposed to be using so I don't sound like a jackass. Yeah, but you're no, you can't. You're changing like cult. This, he's, he messed up the culture, man. Look, I'm okay if it's not tweeting anymore. Just tell me what it's supposed to be. I'm Xing. X gonna give it to you. <laughs> I just something. Xing sounds like a lot like scissoring. You can't be doing. It's like, oh, I don't do that. You might. <laughs> no, not me. You sure there? <laughs> Start off with wow. <laughs> All the headlines will show that the U.S. economy added 275,000 jobs in February. But in reality, the number of people actually employed fell by about 184,000, according to Zero Hedge. It's been revised since the first article came out. Right. The number of workers employed in the U.S. was 160.968 million, the lowest number since May of 2023. Interesting. Yeah little fun fact that the uh, BLS isn't sharing with you. So how do the numbers of people employed fall while the U.S. economy added jobs? <laughs> Valid point. I mean, that's, that's just plus minus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just math. You can do this on an abacus in Rome, okay? <laughs> right? That's a good point. Can you repeat that again? That was so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm throwing this out there. So how did the number of people employed fall while the U.S. economy added jobs? I'm just saying there's a problem there. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. But apparently it makes dollars. Right. The answer to this question is the rapid increase in workers holding, are you ready for it? Mm. More than one job. Oh. Yeah, because, well. Hey, meow. Hey, now, come on come now. Come on, man. Give me, give me my credit. Come on now. We talked about the paradigm shift on the show several shows ago. We said at one point in time, you could live at a single, single employed, one worker household. Mm -hmm. Then you had to have. A two-income household. You had that to survive. And I've right. been telling people the side hustle is a real problem. Right. So, again, the answer to this question is the rapid increase in workers holding more than one job, which means people are literally working two fucking jobs. They need to in order to stay afloat. I've been telling people this is a paradigm shift. The numbers are not capturing. In fact, 278,000 Americans took on more than one job in February. 278,000. Goddamn. So what are your thoughts on this? This is as an executive at a company, right? This is really uh, hard for this is bro. You're gonna this, put me in a fucked up situation. That's this, the problem. Is you baiting me right now? I'm baiting I mean, you. This, this is some this, shit where you're like, no. Nah. Should I edit that out? No, <laughs> no. I'll leave it in there. All right, maybe we don't get into it. <laughs> no, I'll give you my thoughts in a second. Let me finish this. All while the January jobs report was revised lower by 129,000 jobs, as seen in 10 of the last 12 months. Is the labor market really that strong? No, no, no it is not. No, it's not that strong. Yeah. It's, it's going to get worse before it ever so, it gets better. So here's the, here's the question. The question is, and I got a great example from today to answer this question with. By the way, okay, but now, do you think it's a blanket answer where every like it's going to answer? Are you saying it's the same case for everybody? Because what if what if there's a situation where somebody is able to manage two jobs at once and they're they never miss a meeting, they never miss an assignment, they hit every detail, they're there. You know, obviously their time is split, but however, they're meeting their deadlines. There are some people that are capable of doing that. That's that's why so many people are hidden in the numbers there. Right. Right. But I think that has a couple of different implications. Number one, the way we calculate jobs should change. If that is reflective of how jobs are being indicated. But they're not telling their employer that, yo, I got this other job on the side. Again, then we need to change the way we report numbers and employees need to get comfortable with it or they don't. Because people are actually relying on these figures. Right. But this problem, frankly, has lasted for a long time, and it's been around in different forms. You could easily be a consultant and do these things totally legally. Nobody cares what time you're working if you're a consultant. Mm -hmm. But there are benefits to being a W-2 employee that you get for a full-time job okay. that you don't get as a consultant, i.e. health care, right. i.e. 401k access, things mm -hmm. like that. I think if you were more transparent with your company, some companies would be like, fuck you, you're out, we don't want to deal with it. But eventually, over time, if enough people were transparent that they need to do this, the company could say, okay, 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 look. If you're going to commit that you're going to work for us and us only during these hours of the day, mm -hmm. right, 
then hey. But you know that's not how it's going to work. That's not how it's working. Well, and that's the problem is there's so many people who are working untraditional hours now. So it's like, okay, that's why they're making people return back to the office? No, I, I think the problem is what I experienced today. I'm not going to name anybody. And I don't think this person was doing anything wrong. But I took today off to spend the day with my son. Mm. He asked me last night, first time he ever asked me to do that. And I was like, yep, say less. Love that. So I walked with him down to the Starbucks by our house and then walked back up to the park, uh, which is right next to our house. Mm -hmm. I got him a cake pop, which he didn't want because daddy, I need to have lunch first. Otherwise, mommy's going to get mad. And I'm like, mommy doesn't need to know. He's like, yes, damn. she does. Damn, son. I was like, damn, bro. Got brainwashed already? Whipped. <laughs> that boy whipped. <laughs> yeah, come back to me in a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, we're going to talk about this problem when you start dating, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I walk into the coffee shop and there's a coworker there. And she was pleasant and she was nice. And she felt compelled to tell me that she took the day off so she can go get her hair done and stuff like that. 100%. You got to. I mean, that'd be kind of awkward. But it's more stigmatized now because people are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Aren't you supposed to be working? Because you can work from home. Mm -hmm. Traditionally speaking, if I saw you out and you weren't like at a coffee shop near the office and you're like, oh, I'm just hopping to grab a drink. I'm going back to the office. If I saw you out, you would, we would both think that you were off or you weren't working that day. But because you can work from home. Because you do have more flexibility. So much of this is changing to where, but it's still uncomfortable culturally. Yes. Right? Like you don't want anybody to think one thing or another thing, whatever, right? So it, it's very, very weird. And I don't think the business world's figured out a solution yet, us included. Like you want people to be in the, in the building and to build rapport and establish rapport with one another. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if someone can do two jobs, who am I? Here, here's the problem that I really struggle with. It's not the way you've coined it. It's the, it's, I'll give you a different example. And I've long been a proponent of it's not what you do between nine to five. It's what you do between five and nine that's going to make you the money. Yes. But when you think about that, what I'm really telling you is I'm working a second job. It's just my second job is investing in my own growth. Right. Either personally, educationally, uh, or financially in investments that I'm making outside yes. of those traditional business hours. Right? Right. But if you can do that, one inside a normal scope of about eight hours and one outside, at some point in time with the autonomy and flexibility that we have, those worlds collide. Mm -hmm. And it winds up being a little bit of that five to nine in your nine to five because you need to have a phone call at lunch. You need to have a phone call at meetings, just, you know, whatever it is, right? It, 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 it's going to get intertwined. So at what point in time are you able to control that ecosystem? And I don't think, I don't think the answer is, is I think at, over time, people want more autonomy. They don't want to be dedicated to companies because they don't feel the companies are loyal to them anymore. Right. There's you, so few pensions out there. Because that that's how they're starting to feel, right? It's like... That at will employment, right? The the company, especially with the layoffs that we've seen, people, yeah, em, employees are starting to feel like, well, man, they're just gonna get rid of me. So like, I might as well take care of me before I ever take care of them. And right now, with unemployment being so low, the odds of you getting the job are pretty high. If only four percent of America, I mean, essentially, if, if you believe in these numbers, yeah, yeah. Depends. Well, I mean, it depends on the sector, right? Like, it's gonna be hard, like, for someone in, in our space, you know, certain departments. If you get let go, then. I don't know how many other institutions like us are hiring because it's tight for everybody.